What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, as well as a very mischievous Luca. We'll see if she's willing to sit still for a video. Uh, what, what's going on? Are we going to sit? Are we going to sit? I think we're going to sit, maybe. Mm, not so sure. Regardless, we're going right back to Joyride 1991, uh, and the tune is... I, is it I Fade Like a Flower? I forgot the first part of the title. Fading Like a Flower, and then parenthetically, Every Time You Leave. I mentioned it before, I'm always interested by a parenthetical in a title, because it, it ends up, you know, separating it from the main part of the title, and it gives it this, a different balance than if it was just the full phrase without the parentheses. So, just from a, you know, I'm an editor, these are things that stand out to me, uh, so I'm intrigued by the stylistic choice. Um, and yeah, wilting, essentially, you know, fading like a flower, um, even with nourishment, over time, flowers will wilt. That's just part of their biological process. Um, so yeah, the idea of you know being sapped of life uh, when someone is not around, uh, you know, feeling like you're not yourself, like you might not even look as good because um, you know this other person brings this excitement and positivity not only into your life but into your mind. So um, yeah, it feels like someone who is very. Um, attached to or devoted to another person and when this other person is not there whether that's situational or whether it's because the relationship is no more and they're feeling like you know I'm gonna ultimately fade like a flower and wilt completely um, is as of yet unclear uh, but yeah it makes me wonder whether it's someone who's in a relationship with this other person or at least you know they're in the person's life and ultimately when they're around it's great and when they're not it's not or whether this is someone who has moved on, leaving the narrator feeling like, again, a wilting flower. So I guess we'll find out if I can grab my tea, Luca. Thank you very much. Uh, but let's find out. This is Roxette. The tune is Fading Like a Flower, and then parenthetically, Every Time You Leave from the 1991 album Joyride. <laughs> When I reach out, there's nothing to find 
right singing where it's not actually words so well. I almost wish like there'd be some more of it in terms of tracks. Um, but yeah, another another amazing vocal track from Mary, which got me a bit caught up uh, about halfway through there. Um, yeah, cool tune. It does sound like it's over, but it also sounds like he's still in her life. It sounds like there are still occasions when they're in the same room together, but you know she's trying to you know get beyond it, trying not to feel this way, but then when they're in the same room, it's like she can't let go, and then when he leaves, it's like she's fading like a flower. So, like I said, it felt like it is, if there was a relationship, it might be over, but it also sounds like they may still be in, you know, social circles or some sort of connection um, directly, like physically. Um, so yeah, cool tune. Uh, once again, Mary's vocals, amazing. Um, and I wanted to say the guitar work in a couple of the tracks so far in this album, indeed, like both of the ones I listened to in this session, it's like in the verses, in the main parts of the tune, it feels sort of heavy and, um, you know, uh, like synth rock, um, edgy. But then in a couple of the moments where the guitar will do either a proper solo, um, as in Hot Blooded, or in a moment in this one where it was just sort of a, you know, end of the measure flourish, but there's a bluesy element to some of the guitar work too. So um, yeah, really enjoy the writing in particular of the guitar so far in this album. Um, and yeah, it's it sounds a bit bigger and more forceful than some of the things we've heard um, on the 80s album. So, um, yeah, enjoying the evolution of their sound, even though obviously, you know, we're early in this album and I've still yet to see all the different directions it may take. Um, but yeah, I've noticed in the first few tunes it has a, a power to the production that perhaps wasn't quite on this level in the previous two albums. So, um, yeah, looking forward to the rest. Luca, I do apologize. I'm going to have to transfer you over to the chair as you sink even deeper into slumber. I think we're good. Do let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Peace.